Good afternoon, everyone. Yeah, my name is Joe. Uh, I uh, came from Shanghai, so it's a uh, nice weather, nice city, and nice people. Thank you. Uh, first of all, thank you, Amazon, Steven Steen, to uh, invite to join this event. Um, and so for today's uh, presentation, so I, want, I will have the two parts share with, with you guys. So first part, so let me have a few minutes to introduce Anchor and Ocean Wing. So I'm, uh, I'm CEO of Ocean Wing. Uh, uh, the company uh, we provide a service to the global brands. Um, uh, we fully owned by Anchor. So we have a few minutes to uh, introduce my company. And also the second part, we will, uh, we will have the details discuss about how to win the prime day. So it's close, right? Okay. So as Anchor, um, uh, we are so proud that like, Anchor is the first uh, uh, IPO company in China uh, who has many business from the e cross-border e-commerce. Uh, actually, it's an Amazon global uh, market, market, marketplace. So uh, we got uh, uh, finally launched uh, IPO in two, two years, three years ago, 2020. Um, and also, you can see uh, the Conta brand Z, they also have the ranking for Chinese brands every year. Uh, so we are number 12 last year for Anchor. And also, uh, if you guys are familiar with some uh, global Amazon data, this stack line is the most famous uh, data company from Seattle. Uh, so we, the Anchor products currently, uh, we have the, like 20, uh, we are number 23 brands uh, in electronics department, and number 66 in US overall. Uh, so this is Anchor. Uh, we, and also we have some, I have some numbers to introduce Anchor. So Anchor started business like, from 2011, uh, almost 12 years now. Um, so last year, actually, we, uh, uh, we uh, reached the revenue is 2.1 billion uh, in last year. And uh, if we count, if we count the 12 years, uh, all the GMV uh, from Amazon uh, will be like five, more than 5 billion, yeah. And so far, we do have the three brands, main, mainly three brands, uh, each brand revenue is over 440 million US dollar. Yeah. And, and if you guys are interested about Anchor, we do have some annual reports uh, announced in, in China. So last year, actually, we have the, still have the, like almost 70% revenue came from Amazon Global. So we are really appreciate the Amazon platform in the past 12 years. And if we, if we see the anchor numbers for Prime Day last year, uh, we, uh, we, the, the, the GMV, if we compare the GMV for the 2021, have the 30% increased. And also a cost is 12% uh, down. Uh, so uh, this is compared to, two day, uh, compared to Prime Day only. Yeah. So, if, so, so today, so we, uh, I, want to, I will have some sharing uh, for the how we make this number happen. Yeah. So uh, about Ocean Wing, um, actually we are, oh, sorry. So for Ocean Wing, uh, we are the fully owned uh, uh, by Anchor. So uh, we start business from 2019, three years ago, as an internal incubator pro uh, project, actually, in, at the beginning. So uh, in, in the past three years, we, uh, we served more than 30 brands yeah, uh, for, from the Korea, Japan, also Chinese mainland and U.S. local as well. Uh, so in, 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 the past three, uh, in the past three years, uh, we have the, those brands uh, have the really good growth uh, for in Amazon global marketplace. So mainly from the U.S. market and also Euro, EU5 and Japan as well. So the, the, the all the brands in hand so far, the GMV is uh, last year we reached like 300 million U.S. dollar. So 30 brands. So we are using, we believed, why are we doing this? We believe the Anchor has the more than 12 years um, uh, history in, on Amazon, and also Anchor, get, Anchor got the greatest success. So we, uh, we believe that we have the best experience and also best system from Anchor and best team from Anchor to help the global sellers to make a new success uh, make to, to, uh, in, in Amazon global marketplace. So that's our, that's our what we believed and what we did in the past three years. Yeah. Okay. So um, the next part, so we, let's uh, 
uh, go back to how we how we win the Prime Day. I'm not sure what what you guys uh, expectation for Prime Day. So number one, you want to have the really good sales in two days, right? Yeah, before it's one day, but that next, last year they have two days. No doubt, we want to have the more revenue. But besides the revenue, what would you what would you what would you, would you expect it? So usually we are uh, we are think we. We think Prime Day should be a project. So we not only we want to get the revenue on that two days, but also we want to win the position. We want to we, we want to push our product has bet, has a better ranking and keep the ranking for the future. Then you can have the more profit for your account, right? So in Anchor we always we always plan the Prime Day as project uh, as a project. So because in the Prime Day not only not only on site on site ads you need to spend more money for like sponsor ads or some other uh, SD S, SB whatever um, uh, maybe some of seller already has already have the sponsor uh, DSP also uh, not only for Amazon channel traffic but also we want to combine the other uh, offside Amazon traffic such as like a deal size influencer or whatever um, but and, and besides besides of traffic, and you you still need to concern about the inventory, because for Amazon, if you if you uh, after Prime Day, if if you out of stock, actually this is a disaster for listing, it's because you need to spend more money to push this team back to the ranking. So the inventory also is a mo most important part. So we we internally we have the different the department, different function. We work together as a project to see how we can. Uh, how we can increase the ranking and how we can doing the best performance in Prime Day, and also we want to retention uh, the results uh, performance after Prime Day as well. So, uh, so uh, we are uh, we we divide we divide the, this project for three stage. So, f so the first stage is lead up stage. So usually have the four to eight weeks sometimes. So it depends on different category. So in this stage, the key point is how we can have the traffic inbounding. Means like how we can push the ranking, continue, continue to push your listing ranking uh, to, top, to the top uh, tier. And the uh, and second stage, uh, we, was, uh, we will focus on how we can have the better performance on, pri on the prime day, day off. So because, uh, uh, because uh, uh, as, as we know, so in the, during the prime days, all the sellers they want to they will spend a lot of money. Everyone will increase the budget for prime day, and everyone want to get the keywords, the best traffic. But how we can doing better than others? So that's we are that, that's what we are re, uh, doing research. And the, the third stage is like lead out. So after prime day, the definitely the traffic from the platform will be going down. But even that, we want to see how we can keep our ranking, keep our results for the for prime day. Because, uh, because uh, as long as you have the bad, as long as you can keep the ranking, and you will continue to continue to make a better profit yeah, after prime day. So this is three stage we are thinking. Uh, so let me have small details to explain the different stage. So in the stage one, for the up stage, uh, you can see. Uh, in the in this chart, so we uh, actually bef before we do any action, we will have our internal tool to see what is market change on category traffic, what is change daily based before Prime Day, and then you can make a decision how we can manage the sponsor ads and DSP better. For sponsor ads, actually we want we usually we focus on core keywords and organic ranking. So it means like once you have the more core keywords, you can get the traffic and uh, continually we, uh, we have some calculations see how platform provide organic traffic for your listing. And DSP, for DSP in this stage, DSP we are focused on how, how we can touch the other uh, more up funnel consumers to, to, to yeah, um, in Chinese, we, we, we say but I'm not sure in English how I can say that. So you can, you can bring, the more, bring awareness for new, for, new, for new customer. And then in the prime day, we can let, let 
consumer to convert to buy your products. So this is a lead up. Uh, let's see more uh, uh, details. So um, in Anchor, we have the internal system to, to check all the detailed data for the market. So we call it market, market insights. And you can see different chart or different uh, yeah, yeah, fancy chart or fancy pictures in the, in the world. Uh, so we will, usually uh, we will see how, what is, the, what is the seasonality, seasonality uh, data chain for the category. Um, uh, for example, yeah. <clears throat> for example, we will see what is the category units or revenue on SP, what is the change. This is what we give you example says, uh, to help you to make a decision for your pricing, right? And also, uh, and also, we have some other like uh, uh, we will we will calculate brand market share. So it means like uh, means like uh, for top three brands in this category, what is their market share? What 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 their market share is changing? And also, and also we will we will monitor star rain, star the rating and price range as well. So all those those information will help you to do uh, to do better decision during the fine day. Because, because like e-commerce, like everything is changing. But now, um, but now we need to really clear to, uh, uh, to find out what your competitor did during this time. And you, you can, and then we have the better strategy for our, for our account. And this is another system we are trying to have the more deeper uh, research about the traffic. Uh, I believe you guys are very familiar, uh, familiar, familiar with this uh, first table. Uh, this table is from uh, Amazon. You can download it from Amazon Sales Center. Uh, they call it ABA. Uh, in this table, you can find different keywords. They have different rank. So actually, different rank means like a different traffic. So the, the ranking is it's a small number. Will be like, uh, will, uh, meaning is like uh, the ranking is, uh, uh, is better ranking, and means like uh, better traffic. So based on that, so we have tools to help us to, to recognize what is the main, uh, what is the main traffic from this for this category. Means like the category, the traffic for this category is mainly from, mainly from, a brand from the the brand traffic or from the category keywords brand. So for example, like uh, like like Apple products. So the most of the Apple products we can find. The people just searching Apple, like Apple AirPods, whatever Apple, Apple, Apple. So in this, for the Apple category, they always uh, most of most of traffic come from the come from keywords of the brand. Does it make sense? But if 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 we find some other like a robot vacuum, so people just only always searching the robot vacuum, the category keywords. So it's like a, so in the ABA we need to we need to analyze what is the structure of the category for the keywords. And then we can also dig in, because, because if you find out 60% or 70% will come from the brand name, brand keywords, and then you need to have the deep dive, what brand, what the brand traffic, the, 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 the structure for, for, uh, for, the, for, the, uh, for, for this category. So then you can have the strategy. So this is, a, this is another, another view uh, for, the, uh, for the keywords. Uh, for the horizontal uh, axis, is like uh, what is the ranking for keywords. For example, this is a, uh, we, we, uh, we calculate to the traffic. For, uh, I mean, for the, so it's in the left side, the ranking will be better. Uh, will be, for example, uh, will be like uh, maybe five, from 5,000 to 90,000. So, so even clo close to left side means like the traffic is bigger. Okay, more people to search that, and uh, and for vertical for the vertical vertical access uh, means like uh, how uh, means 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 like uh, uh, how many how many click so the, the this this chart means like how many click in the uh, how many uh, concentrate con concentrate ratio for the click in this side. So those two pictures will show you, uh, the, the second picture is, means like, uh, what is the conversion, conversion ratio? So you can see the, 
in, in this category, even the keywords ranking is really bad. Keywords, the, the traffic maybe is very small, but still has, mo still has a lot of people to search that. So it's like not the, if all the dots come from the left side, it's, it's different way. Means like, uh, means like this, this category traffic is very, uh, very uh, focused on the top page or, or the top, top keywords. But in this example, it means like even the keywords has really, really, uh, I, we, we call it like a long tail keywords, they still have traffic. So in this category, your ad strategy is like you need to always to find other even small spending, not expensive spending, but the very low cost keywords still have a chance to help you to make a business. Yeah, so this is a, what do we, yeah, what do we, uh, what our research for the, for the traffic. So we do have the original data from Amazon, and you need to have the other deep dive method to find out what is the, set, what is the set status for this uh, category, the traffic, and we can have the better strategy for your daily based uh, operation, okay? So this is, a, this is a one uh, case study. So in this, uh, uh, in this category, we have them to, um, uh, we, we, first, uh, we, will, we find out this category, the traffic is like, uh, come from the different, come from the even long tail, long tail keywords. Uh, that's why we, and also we grouping their ASINs. So in A, B, D, or A, C, D, F, it means like a different ASIN. And A, B, C, D, E, F in the, in the vertical side, we, uh, it means like, like different, different keywords. So we put, the, we put the, actually we put a campaign with like a different ASIN and different keywords together. So it means like even the people searching, for example, in green, yeah, in, in green block. So even the people searching, use the keyword B to searching. So if, you, if your campaign always like one keyword, one kind of keywords, one type of keywords with one ASIN, you may, if, if you didn't successfully beat A, you will lose your traffic. But in this example, a, B, D, F, four products, four ASINs, they are still able to, they, they always have a chance to get the traffic, someone who's searching A or B or C. So we will have the group, we, we, after we analyze, we group the campaigns for different products and different, uh, different ASINs and different keywords to get the best traffic. And, and, and for Prime Day, for, yeah, yeah, before the Prime Day, uh, in, in four, uh, four weeks before Prime Day, we all we start we started doing some uh, doing some optimization about the structure. You can see the different keywords, these top core keywords. After that, the, the after our optimization, the keywords ranking, uh, keyword keywords ranking is come is coming better and better. Means like uh, means like we we get the more more better organic organic traffic from the platform from Amazon. So this is what we did for the core keywords. Yeah. So we're using the, our tools to do analysis, and also we have the, we build the, we build the different structure for, the, for our ads, and then we get the, we, we get the best uh, organic traffic from the, uh, from, the key, from the core keywords. And also, and also we also using the DSP, uh, because DSP is like, a, uh, uh, not the all account we recommend use, use DSP, Usually, when your account like uh, has uh, uh, has three million or five million revenue or higher, DSP is very good good tools to help you to get the more up funnel uh, up funnel consumer. Uh, right? So, before Prime Day, also we are using DSP budget to increase the audience, yeah, different uh, different the audience uh, to reach out the different audience to improve your brand awareness, and then in the Prime Day that day. You can convert them, convert the consumer. Yeah. So this is a DSP side, and also uh, I'm not sure how often you change your pictures. So before Prime Day, actually we do we do a lot of testing about our creative. Um, um, so far, we using our internal AI system, uh, actually combined with ChatGPT. So we have the different testing about how we present ads. Creative they have the better CTR. So the before you can see the example, and before that, like this way. And when we improve to 
to the to, to right side, the CTR has increased uh, almost 240%. Yeah, so because uh, for the ads, uh, for the, for the, for the cre creative for the ads, the CTR is the most important. The people, because you, they will always uh, expose your pictures to the different consumer. So the first thing is we need to let the consumer to click that. So that's why we always focus on CTR, how we can improve. So this is, uh, this is all tips, all, all things we, are, we, we did before Prime Day. So in a word, before Prime Day, we are, we are trying to push our listing ranking as the best position, and you, get the, you, can, you can get the best uh, organic traffic from the, from the platform. And then in, in the Prime Day, so we, what, the, what the we did, actually, we, the key things for the Prime Day is like a quick action. So it means like the Prime Day always changing like every minute, every, even every hour, every minute. So how you can respond, competitors, competitor strategy, and you, ha you make your best uh, choice. That is the key things for the Prime Day. Um, we don't have the, any really fancy, logical how we can win Prime Day, but uh, we only do one thing. So every hour, every hour we have the system to check in the data, to check in the traffic change, and then we make the right decision for your, for, for your spending. That is the key uh, to win the prime day. So this is the system. So you can see this chart. Um, we have the system for any, every hour to, to give us a uh, suggestion how, many, how much you spend for a different hour. And, and depends on the, the platform traffic. And also, and also in this model, the system can help us to, to keep the best uh, lows. Best, uh, best, low, 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 best lows means that like, uh, even, even, for example, in the 5 p.m. first day, 6 p.m. first day, even we increase spending, but lowest still have to keep the high level, means that like you can get the more revenue. So this is, this is what we did, uh, what we have to, for the system. And this is an uh, uh, example. So, so in the prime day, uh, we got the CPC decreased from the $4.83 down to 4.5. And the sales trend, you can see sales trend. The first day, actually, the traffic is really high from the platform. And, and, and we definitely, we increase our revenue. But second day, actually, the, the whole category uh, usually, category the traffic is a little bit going down because second day, some most of the consumer they, they always purchase the goods from the first day. And but after our our already judgment, we continually to increase our revenue yeah, for the second day. So this is uh, how how we really uh, how we I, 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 this is how we can win the prime day. Uh, the key thing is like how quick response. Our base already based, yeah, for the for the prime day. And this is uh, this is uh, one of the, our biggest uh, client from US. Uh, the the brand name is Vital Protein. So in prime day, actually we usually they have the only like a two or three in the top the uh, in the top twenty position. Uh, but in the prime day, we all we we push like uh, almost a five five listing uh, to the top. To the top, and also we get the sales number is like almost uh, uh, three point four times, yeah, based compared to the compared to the uh, uh, two thousand twenty one. So uh, last year we get a lot of the improvement about uh, our uh, day day parting uh, day parting uh, system to for the for the for the bidding. Then we really increase the revenue. Yeah, uh, it cost also have the forty percent decreased. For a cost as well. Uh, this is like one small story uh, for this case. Is like we find that competitor they spend like a lot of money on the top keywords in the first day, and we just uh, we just stop the bidding for the key for the big keywords. In the first day, we just spend a little bit for the other long tail or mid tier keywords. We keep our revenue to gross, and the second that we find that some of our competitor they run out budget, then we can then we switch our budget to the big keywords. The, we, we have, this, we have the, another dramatic the increase for the second day. So this is what, the, what, what happened last year. Yeah. So after Prime Day, yeah, uh, as, I, 
as I asked you at the beginning, so Prime Day is not just for one or two days, right? So everyone, when we uh, usually Prime Day will, uh, uh, I mean, uh, will hurt your profit for that day, yeah, because you have really deep discount, twenty-five or thirty percent off, and also you spend a lot of the ads on that day. But the, why we do? Why we need to do that? Because in the Prime Day, if you have, if you're running doing good the Prime Day, you have the really, you have the really good position, you have the better ranking on the Prime Day, and then if you keep the ranking, so after Prime Day, all the pricing is back. So if it, if you continue to keep your ranking, so your profit will come back quickly. So that's uh, that's why we are, that's why we suggest we, you know, for lead out, uh, we still need to do traffic uh, retention uh, to keep your ranking. You know. So the same thing. Um, actually, they have two scenarios. So if your category after Prime Day is like less competition, and we will have the proactive advertising strategy uh, will be the mainly focus. Uh, if the more competition, um, we will uh, we will have the robust uh, advertising strategy. So if different uh, ad strategy will will match your category competition, yeah, competition status. So this is uh, also the same, yeah. This is the same, uh, 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 same case what I show you and for Prime Day. So this is also vital protein. Uh, after Prime Day, uh, we also uh, have them to manage to change the different uh, keywords uh, campaign strategy, and they continue to have the. Uh, we put the, like also we put the some fifteen percent a small coupon on the listing, and you can see we always keeping the ranking, yeah, for a while. Then we can help them to get the, all the profit back, yeah, for prime, after Prime Day. So yeah, this is a really uh, briefing for the three stage. Um, and, uh, but the key things for the for the ads, I think the my 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 thinking is like the most important things is like how we can really uh, really have the detailed detailed analysis about the category competitor and the, all the traffic structure. And once you have the really clear map for the category, for the competitor, for, for, for their strategy, and you will get the, your best strategy to, to beat your competitor. So that's why we, we need to combine with different systems, work together, not just a human being to download the data for spreadsheet. So this is like 10 years ago. But now we really relied on some system to help you to make the right decision for a prime day. Yeah. So this is all I sharing for today. Um, I, I'm more happy if you guys have any question, uh, I can I can have you guys to answer. Thank you. Oh, thank you guys. Can I ask? Uh, yeah. Earlier on, you showed you know some of the stats, right? The graphics. Uh, that is that system your own in-house system? Oh yeah, yeah, all in-house system. Yeah. So those you mean? Yeah. 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 Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Data. Is it from Amazon? Um, for the yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. Um, we just have the at the section report that's from your own uh, AMS and also the APA ranks. So these are the two major sources. Yeah, and for the market, actually, for the different competitor data. Usually, like as I mentioned, a stack line. So we also buy some third-party uh, data company from the Seattle. Yeah, but a little bit expensive. Uh, but yeah. So anyway, it will help you to see what is the really, yeah, uh, detail the competitor. How what's their revenue? What's their some yeah key data yeah, from yeah from data company. Yeah. Anything else? How big, how big is your staff to maintain this system? How many people? How many people for the system? Yeah, uh, actually, uh, Anchor started uh, building the system like uh, uh, six, seven or eight years ago. So currently, for Anchor team, we are, in Anchor company, we have the more than two hundred IT IT team. Sorry, but but it's <laughs> but it's not a, not a for for only for this system. They they cover the, all the financing, uh, uh, e-commerce. So uh, e-commerce and also supply chain. But if you talk about the low system, 
Uh, currently, we still have like uh, almost 30 people to manage to ma maintenance. Yeah, the system. 30. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, what kind of uh, GMV revenue size would be a client for you? Oh, for my yeah, for for Ocean Wind client, uh, for GMV size, it's like we do have the really bigger range. So if we ha we have we do have a lot of the zero to one new new client from China, from Korea, from Japan. Uh, the biggest one is what I showed this uh, uh, example in the deck, the vital protein. Vital protein, we have them to increase the revenue from 30 million to 140 million last year in three years. Yeah, they are, they are US local brands, and they, they spend a lot of money for their local marketing as well. You know, they, send, they signed the, the drama, US drama star, Jennifer Aniston, the friends, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so they do have a lot of the omnichannel marketing on the local, so that's why it's a good help for Amazon business as well. Yeah. Yeah. So I tried to look at the different services that you offer and maybe the pricing, uh, but the website has an invalid SSL. <laughs> so oh, that's why I, uh, sorry, like what, what are the services that you have here? I know it's besides PPC management, mm -hmm. uh, it's also uh, design creatives for the ads and all that. Yeah. So we do have the uh, usually we have the two kinds of service. So one is like a program service. It's like, a, for example, if you want only looking for like a PPC management, or you are looking for some, some like creative uh, organization. So we can we can do like the program service, and also you can have the turnkey as well. Okay. Yeah, different, okay. different. Yeah, we do have. Yeah, and, and the pricing is like a for different. Uh, uh, we we usually we have the different. Uh, I mean, case by case pricing because it depends on how many skill. The 10 SKU, 100 SKU is, or, yeah, one listing or 100 listing is quite different, yeah. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, thank you guys, thank you. Yeah.